Hello there. In my last video, you saw me take one of these LM386 little chips that you can get on Amazon. A pack of 10 for 10 bucks or something like that. That's where the whole $1 fuss thing came along. And I made this pedal. And I later made this pedal. Now in my last video, you saw I hinted a little bit, if you paid attention, to this pedal. And that I was interested in finding a way of clipping that a little bit. With diodes. Because even though it's a really fun and interesting fuss thing, you can get out of that. And I do like it. It's not something super practical because it's super loud and it's really harsh and crazy. And so I was hoping I could tame it. So in last video, we experimented a little bit with different diodes. And as I'm getting ready to put some of them into a pedal, because I said in another video that we would do that, I made this one. And this is just the same thing as the other ones. I'm gonna go over this sort of quickly, at least I hope, and show you how I made this. But if you feel like what I'm showing you is going too fast and, you know, I'm not going into very much detail, there will be two links in the description. And one is gonna be for this pedal and one is gonna be for this pedal. This is the basic one and this is the one with the tremolo. This one has two of the little circuits, this thing right here, whilst this one only has one. And it doesn't really matter. All you do is you either wire it up, you know, going from input to output the way you would do things, or you just put two of these in series. Basically, the outs from this one goes into the ins on the next one. So just want to put that out there real quickly so that you know, because some of you are going to see this as, you know, one video in a long row of a bunch of other videos and it won't be new or different for you but some of you uh, this is going to be the first video you see on my channel so hi welcome nice to see you here and i just wanted to say that so if you feel like this video is not a complete how to build this then that's because it really is a continuation of the two other pedals another thing i just want to say real quickly is i used the electronics from an old guitar to create these knobs because one is distortion and it's just the controller on that little circuit thing and the other one is tone and volume and it's just tone and volume from a, a guitar that I recently scavenged all the parts from and I put them in this. I just want to say that because there's going to be more and other ways you can wire up a tone and volume control so if you feel like oh no I have to do it the way he does you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. There are other ways you can do it there are even kits that are just you know oh pedal that is a tone and volume control that you could wire together with this for example this is just a sort of quick dirty easy little way that i did it i'm gonna open up the back of the pedal now but please keep in mind that i did this pedal so that i could add a clipping diode to it later that's what the previous video that came out before this one was for so if you feel like uh this isn't that special it's not finished yet so keep that in mind and we'll come back to it some other time when we know what diodes we want to put in it. Okay, so there's a couple of things I just want to go through real quickly before we get too far into it. You can see this little cut that I made right here. I just figured that if I cut through the plastic on the DC out a little bit, I could clamp it in place. So the jack doesn't look like this, it's usually just covered here. But I did that because the lid on the back has this little ridge that will go in there and basically clamp it in place. Also down here you will see these gray blobs that's epoxy clay and I just used it to hold the LEDs in place because if you look on the other side you can see that they are just mounted to the top like that. And there is also which might be a little bit hard to see there you can see it there is some hot glue working as a backing plate holding the main circuit in place. I just wanted to put that out there so you know it's not going to affect anything and you don't have to do it that way. Having things glued in place or screwed down is a good idea because you don't want things rattling around inside. But you don't uh, have to do it the way I'm doing it exactly. So let's first go through all the ground wires. Now I've wired this up so that every black wire is a ground wire. The reason why I've done that is because I like to make it easy for you to follow along. You don't have to use black wires or anything like that. The colors don't matter or mean anything. So the output jacks where you plug into your amp and your guitar they will have a ground connect. This one I'm not using the ground connection because it's a metal enclosure so it will automatically be grounded. On this one I have a ground wire that goes to one of the grounds on the circuit. There are two grounds on this side of the circuit and one of the grounds is connected to the jack and to the negative leg on the LED. Now you can probably see that I have three LEDs. You don't need to have three. I just thought it would be fun 
and look kind of weird on this beautiful pedal if it had three LEDs. And I've just taken the positive legs and connected all of them together and the negative legs and all of them together. The other ground on this side is connected to the negative on the DC, which is up here. And I'm using one of these small old time uh, square ones because I've run out of the round ones that you drill a hole for and plug in. And I don't want to go to the store just for this little experiment. Now I have a ground wire that goes from the volume to the tone on the back. I don't think you will need that wire because it's going to be grounded through the enclosure. Uh, but it was already there because of this being from a guitar. So I just left it there. The ground wire then goes to the ground on the output of the circuit because I wanted to ground everything back together again. The tone has three legs. The middle leg has a jumper cable to the middle leg on the volume. And then there is a capacitor, just like on your guitar, from the last leg to the back of the pot. And then the volume has its last legs grounded off to the back of the pot, just like in your guitar. And then it has a white wire that goes from the first leg to the output of the circuit and the middle leg is connected to the switch right over here the leg that is in the upper corner now this distortion control is just jumper cables to this switch from the connections that are here where the little trim pot was so you basically just have to cut that trim pot off i keep the legs that the trim pot has on the circuit instead of disordering the entire thing and the reason why I do it that way is because I'm lazy. You don't have to do it that way. I'm doing it that way because it's easier to connect new jumper cables to the cutoff legs than it is to try and desolder it and clean out those super tiny little holes and put in new wires that are super small and fiddly and solder them in place and pull them all that way. I crisscrossed the two outer legs so that this one goes over to this and this one goes over to that. And that's just because when you move the trim pot on this, the volume gets louder and louder when you pull it the opposite way of what is correct or whatever you want to call it when you do it to a pedal. So if you don't cro cross them like I've done, it will still work perfectly fine, but volume or distortion in this case, as I'm calling it, will not get louder and louder as you move it like this it will get louder and louder as you move it like this, which I think to a lot of guitar players will feel wrong. Okay, so let's now jump over here. This is the lead connection on the input jack. It goes to the first leg on the middle row, and then the signal will get switched either to this upper row, where it gets connected to the in on the circuit, or down here to the lower row, where it will have a jumper cable over to the last leg in the corner right here and get connected up here where it will go out to the output jack. It's just a cable from the lead of the output jack to the middle leg. You have to think of everything reversed because when you have the pedal like this, this is where your guitar gets plugged in. But when you turn it over, that jack is on the opposite side. Just remember that because it's one of those things that can confuse you, make things weird and strange, and you might get super frustrated and be angry and tell me that things are not working. And it will probably be because you've crisscrossed these wires. And so your input jack and your output jack are not flipped around. That could be a thing. So double check that. I've done that mistake so many times, it's not even funny. Anyway, if we want the LED to turn on when we press the button, down and engage the circuit. We need the middle leg on this lower row to be connected to the upper corner one where the signal goes into the circuit. In the middle middle, the absolute middle, we have a tiny little jumper cable meeting up with the resistor and attached to the positive of the LED or LEDs. Now I'm using a 3.3 in this case because I was too lazy and didn't want to go through my bin and find a 2.2k but you don't have to be lazy if you don't wanna could put in a 2.2 which would be the right one to use now the DC jack has three connections the ground we've already talked about but it has two wires up here you can see a white one and a yellow one the yellow one is connected to the 
VCC on the circuit, straight just across. I've twisted them together to make less noise and interference. I do recommend you do it. The middle leg here, which is the upper row middle, gets connected together with the VCC at the jack right here. And that's it. Now you have all the connections. I hope this helps. And I'm just going to move it around a little bit like this so that you can pause it wherever you feel like you need to if you have any issues or anything or if there was anything I said that was unclear. If you have questions about this pedal because you have something that you can't find in one of the other two pedal builds, um, don't hesitate. Ask questions. I look forward to talking to you, trying to help you out. This is the way it looks.
That's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Talk to me in the comments below if you have any questions. And if you're not subscribed, please press the subscribe button. Press the like button if you like the video and also to make me happy. Mm -hmm -hmm. No, but seriously, until the next time, until the next time, the next time, stay awesome and cool and play some guitar, do some fun experiments with pedal, take them apart, you know, it's all good. <laughs>